Jazz, aka Javatronia. And Mechatronus, aka Nex. And we're the Alt Geeks, bringing you another Alt Geek show, show and tell. tell. And today, as you can see, we have Transformers Scourge. We have their deluxe class Generations on the left and Titans Return on the right. Yeah, I figured we'd bring you the Scourge of our collection. Come on, I had to say it. <laughs> Yeah, so Generations is definitely the, the one that we really have had for a long time, and we have built the seven sweeps, I believe. Yeah, actually, the most I counted on screen was like 13 when they're attacking Magnus, but uh, I think we stopped at seven because just to uh, have a Scourge as the main uh, captain, I guess, and his three or six wingmen three on each side. Again, we have to thank Autobot Prime, our big brother, uh, for donating a few of those to us. So the rest we had to track down throughout the years. Yeah, so thank you. And then we do have a few Titans Return version of Scourge as well because we have two shelves and they're both represented on both sides. And I think we're up to three? I think we have three think, of them. Yeah, we do have three of them. As you can see, they both look quite a bit different. Color schemes are definitely different. The Titans Return is very, I guess, monochromatic blue. Mm -hmm. Not a whole lot of extra defining colors or anything to really give it its look. But our Generations has a little bit more color representation being blue and white with some red detailing, which has been really nice. And even his like goatee and beard, beard is has some color to it. So I, I like that aesthetic a lot better, definitely. But I kind of also like parts of Generations, not really his colors, but I guess his body. Which one? Generations or Titans? I like Titans. Overall aesthetic is a little bit more towards the rest of our collection for look. But Personally, I like the Generations one a lot more more. Just overall aesthetics, he looks a little bit more scary, more badass. Yeah. But I do like the fact that Titan Returns version is way easier to stand up and to pose, even though he lacks as many points of articulation. He still stands pretty good, but I personally like the look and aesthetics of Generations. Yeah, I have to agree. I like his wings. I should say in robot mode, but we'll get to that later. Yeah. <laughs> I do like his, what they call his like cape or wings. It has been noted on several accounts that the instructions didn't ever show to open them up, but I think on, you know, collector standpoints, playing with the toy, you know, opening them up kind of gives them more of this bat look and, and creates more of that image that we recognize from the cartoon. Yeah. Because Titans is a little lame. Yeah. <laughs> It's like he's carrying a and coffin on his back or something. Yeah. So both figures come with two handguns, one single barrel and a double barrel weapon. The Generations does have a little tab when you fold, or clip, I should say, that can stick onto his head-mounted laser. Not that that really should have any functional use, but it was just kind of one of those things that people found out. And when the weapons are combined, he's supposed to have a likeness to his target master, Fracas. And as Titans return, Turn, his headmaster is Fracas, so they didn't need to necessarily combine the weapons to uh, represent him, but he can wield that double barrel weapon that's currently on his backpack. And his weapons, Scourge's weapons on the Generations figure do peg into his wings. Yeah, we actually have his gun sled thing, uh, double barrel gun on, tabbed onto his back just for storage, just because it's a little unwieldy for a gun. <laughs> yeah, it's really meant for the headmaster that yeah. it comes with. It's just meant for the gimmick that comes with the Titan Returns. Yes. Yeah, let's go ahead and uh, check out both of these guys' articulation. Yeah. Alright, so let's check out our Generation Scourge articulation here. So his head's on a ball joint, so it has full uh, 360 rotation and good tilt. Uh, not so much side to side, but at least you get the chin up and down. His arms do come out quite nicely, and then with his wings and backpack back, he does get a full rotation. He does have what I consider more of an elbow twist, not so much a bicep, but it, if you want to consider that bicep, then he has that twisting, and then he only gets a 90 degree bend, basically, on his elbow. And then on his hands, they do rotate 360, but not any tilting or bending there. And he has nice waist rotation, pretty clear, pretty far. Hips. He does get a forward and back, thigh swivel, a decent knee bend, and then his foot is also on a ball joint, so you get really good uh, tilting and toe bend. 
nice rocking and toe tilt. And then in his wings he does have, so that's how they're represented typically. They do fold in. They also have a little articulation this way as well. And then they fold open, which is a fan transformation mode. It's not displayed on package. And then his uh, weapons can be stored in his cape wings also has room in there. All right, so now we are on to our Titan's return scourge articulation. So he is a headmaster, so really his head's just pegged into that piece, has a little bit of movement, uh, does rotate, has slight tilt action, but not too much. Shoulders have 360, given that the wings are out of the way. Outward, there is a bicep swivel. Elbow bend is also uh, only about 90 degrees limitation there. His hands have some tilt or bend but no rotation and no waist swivel and for his legs he does have decent range there. No kibble and his backpack stay out of the way. His hips are on um, a ratchet joint there going outward so it does have some good hold. Thigh swivel Knee bend is a little more limited, but not too bad. You can still get some action pose out of that. And then he has some toe tilt, but no rocking. His heel also moves either as a whole piece or you can just move the toe there. They also have some swinging action and a little bit of uh, folding, so depending on how you want to do that. But it doesn't have any kind of uh, rotation on this one. So there is our articulation for Generations and Titans Return Scourge. Okay, in uh, alt mode for Scourge. As you can see, the Generations one is a complete uh, detour from uh, the original design from the 86 uh, version of Scourge. But the Titans Return one looks pretty close. Yes, it does. Definitely a lot closer to <laughs> Scourge's animated look. More spaceship, more narrow. Flying sneaker, flying boat. Yeah, um, has does it have all of the thrusters coming up out? Because in the animated one, there's like these two would really be coming up here as well, similar to that. But overall, it appeals to that aesthetic and has the shape and, and look and feel. And if we were using him in any sort of photo, you would know who he is just by the shape and the color. Whereas the Generations alt mode is looks like an airplane. It was designed after the Boeing oh, X-Ray. Yeah. It does look really, I mean, it's nice and tidy. And notice that we kind of mistransformed, or I mis mistransformed his hands a little bit, but who cares, you get the idea. Uh, the Stealth Bomber look it looks pretty good for what it is. It's pretty tidy. Yeah, just not what we're looking for. No, not really. Again, like I said, the Titan Return one looks a lot like the 86 movie, and that's the true reason why we started collecting those, just literally for, mainly for the alt mode. Mm-hmm, absolutely. You know, we're, we don't usually have them in alt mode other than for pictures yeah, and uh, playing. Yeah, this is actually the first time we've had uh, Generations Scourge in his alt mode for over a year probably, if not longer. Yeah, probably longer. But these are their alt modes and they're awesome for what they are for each one, but mm -hmm. um, definitely Titan's Return is a vote in our direction of ideal. Not perfect, but close enough. Yep, yep. Alright, let's check out Scourge and our size comparison. All right, so now for size comparison. You see we have um, quite a few, a couple Galvatrons, Mania King, Combiner Wars Galvatron, and then we have also a couple Cyclonus, actually three different ones. We have Sky Shadow up there, also for our leader class. So leader class, Voyager, our Deluxe, and then our cute little Shark Decons here. As far as Scourge goes, I mean, they fit in really well with their Deluxe class and, and size. Now overall, I think, yeah, both of them actually look really great with any of them. Any of the different versions of Cyclonus or Galvatron. Still, personally, I think that the Generations fits a little bit better. He has more of a gargoyle aesthetic that I kind of like. From the 86 movie, I got more of a gargoyle feel from uh, Scourge. So I think the Generation 1 fits that mold a little bit better. But I know I, uh, IDW fans might prefer the Titan Return aesthetics, that kind of more humanoid-looking uh, proportions and whatnot. Yeah, I'd have to agree with Nex on that. The Generations definitely brings in more of that narrow edges and angled and angular like shapes 
that even Cyclonus has with his head sculpt and Galvatron and it just works in really well with the overall aesthetic but our Titans return still looks decent with them all fits in nicely. To be quite honest, the reason why we started collecting the Titan Returns version is because his alt mode, yeah, primarily of his alt mode. If it's up to us, we would probably display the Generations one in robot mode and like the army of sweeps in, uh, of the Titan Returns version in the alt mode. Yeah. But overall, I think either one makes a great addition to our collection, and so we'll keep them both. We actually have two shelves of Season 3 Decepticons. One's more dedicated to the movie, uh, 86 movie lineup, and then the other one is dedicated to the Japanese Headmaster series. Yeah, so they both fit in on their own shelves aesthetically. Really nice, and we're happy to have them both. So yeah, guys, uh, thanks for hanging out. Thank you for joining us on the Alt Geek Show and Tell with Scourge, Our Generations, and Titans Return. Yeah, we'll check you guys next time. Bye. Ciao.